massive. Tesla has just unveiled Master Plan Part 4. So let's watch this short video and then we'll read the full post. Humans are tool makers. And at Tesla, we are builders of physical products at scale that make life better for all. We have been working tirelessly to create the foundation for a technological renaissance through the development of electric vehicles, energy products, and humanoid robots. This next chapter will be on an even grander scale than we have yet to see. We are building the products and services that bring AI into the physical world. We are combining our manufacturing capabilities with our autonomous prowess to accelerate global prosperity. We are building a safer, cleaner, and more enjoyable world for all. We call this sustainable abundance. What's the happiest future you can imagine? One which there's sustainable abundance for all. That's right. Tesla's master plan, part four, in two words, sustainable abundance. Imagine my shock. Now, we'll read the full post, a lot more detail in a moment. But first, you know this is coming. 48 hours ago, I published a video, Tesla master plan, part four, coming soon, in which I said this. Q clip. Master Plan 4 will be concise. And would you like me to spoil it, folks? You want me to tell you what Master Plan 4 will be? Two words. Sustainable abundance. Motherfuckers. I'll bet the house on it. Tesla's Master Plan 4 is going to be centered around ushering in an era of essentially hyper abundance, where the cost of energy and labor fall to near zero by increasingly intelligent humanoid robots, meaning anyone can have just about anything they want for almost nothing. Well, you can't make this shit up. This actually happened. Two days ago, I posted a video in which I bet the house on the fact that Tesla's master plan part four, which would be coming soon, in two words would be sustainable abundance. All I can say is, God damn, I'm good. Actually, I'm not really anyone with half a brain could figure this out if they follow the Tesla story closely and listen and think. Now that I'm done jerking myself off for being right again, let's actually read the full post. And by the way, just to be clear, in case anyone's like, wait, did somebody from Tesla leak anything to you? No, <laughs> just use my brain. It's obvious things are obvious. By the way, just imagine having the opportunity to own a company that has a track record of publishing their goals, e.g. a master plan, first one back in 2006, e.g. this is what we are going to do, then doing exactly what they said they were going to do, and then publishing another master plan roughly a decade later, saying this is what we're going to do next, and then doing exactly what they said they're going to do next. Then, wait for it, you know where this is going, right? Tesla has a literal two-decade-long track record now of publishing master plans, putting them out there for the world to see, and then doing exactly what they said they were going to do in said master plan. Therefore, given this track record over literally 20 years, when such a company gifts potential and existing investors, laying out on a platter their future goals, and said goals are so astronomical, so ridiculously audacious, so literally world-changing, imagine this opportunity. Now, the only real question is, will Tesla be successful with Master Plan Part 4, because if so, motherfuckers, holy shit. Tesla Master Plan Part 4 Introduction. Since Tesla's founding, each iteration of our master plan has focused on our North Star to deliver unconstrained sustainability without compromise. Humans are tool makers. At Tesla, we make physical products at scale and at a low cost with the goal of making life better for everyone. As the influence and impact of artificial intelligence technology increases, the mission set forth in Master Plan Part 4 should come as no surprise. Okay, it, <laughs> are they trolling? Oh, because it didn't come as a surprise. I literally fucking called it two days ago. Verbatim exact words. Now, Tesla does actually have a point. This was so fucking obvious. I've never in a video ever said, I'll bet the house on it. Until that master plan part four call, sustainable abundance. Why was I so confident? The reason is because it's so obvious. Now, obviously, if you're not paying close attention, you wouldn't see this coming. But if you are, it really should come as no surprise. Let's continue. The next chapter in Tesla's story will help create a world we've only just begun to imagine and will do so at a scale, wait for it, that we have yet to see. We are building the products and services that bring AI into the physical world. We have been working tirelessly for nearly two decades to create the foundation for this technological renaissance 
through the development of electric vehicles, energy products, and humanoid robots. Now, we are combining our manufacturing capabilities with our autonomous prowess to deliver new products and services that will accelerate global prosperity. I mean, what a sick fucking goal, bro. And human thriving, driven by economic growth shared by all. We are unifying our hardware and software at scale, and in doing so, we are creating a safer, cleaner, and more enjoyable world. This is, in bold, sustainable abundance. Now, bro, I, <laughs> I almost feel like somebody at Tesla saw my video. I mean, I'm sure they didn't, but imagine if they didn't. Like, yeah, let's put this in here just so the guy can gloat and jerk himself off ferociously in the next video he posts. Trolling aside, though, this is important. I explained in detail in that video two days ago about Master Plan Part 4 coming soon, exactly how this works, but I'm sure this post will detail as well. In short, the cost of energy and labor fall to near zero, meaning everyone can have anything they want within reason for essentially free. This is not some like, oh, hypothetical. No, this is how it works. If the cost of energy due to solar, free from the sun, stored in batteries, once they're up and running, don't really need to do a lot. So there's a hardware cost, but then the marginal cost to generate and store is fuck all. So energy is basically zero. And then if you have useful, intelligent humanoid robots powered by the essentially free energy, the cost of labor will fall to near zero. This is really big. That's what she said. Guiding principles. Growth is infinite. Growth in one area does not require decline in another. Oh, then taking shots at some of the communists, the socialists, and everyone else. Shortages in resources can be remedied by improved technology, greater innovation, and new ideas. The technologies that give us the ability to power machines led to the Industrial Revolution. It's true. Industrial Revolutions plural, that have widened our economic landscape, creating more opportunities for all. Groundbreaking inventions like the semiconductor and the internet have expanded, not diminished, social and economic opportunities across all aspects of the human experience. Left-hearted university professors have left the chat. From creating more jobs to providing greater access to information to enabling deeper interpersonal connections. And just a quick side note, and motherfuckers like me and countless others, to literally have an entire retirement side project or some might call it a career with almost zero startup and ongoing costs and somehow reach an audience of many tens of thousands of people kind of weird think about this what i'm doing right now would not have been possible just a couple of decades ago our desire to push beyond what is considered achievable will foster the growth needed for truly sustainable abundance there it is again bro i love it innovation removes constraints. For centuries, humanity's primary mode of transportation was the horse. Then, over the last 50 plus years, cars with internal combustion engines powered by fossil fuels became the standard and expected transportation method. The idea that batteries could be produced affordably and at scale large enough to pivot the transportation industry away from fossil fuels seemed a fool's errand, until Tesla led the way forward. Wait, hang on, but I thought Biden said that General Motors did. Hmm. Through continued innovation, we have overcome the technological constraints of battery development and built an industry powered by renewable resources. Technology solves tangible problems. The products and services born out of the acceleration towards sustainable abundance. Oh, they keep saying it. I love it. Sustainable abundance. We'll advance humanity by solving real world problems. To further accelerate our innovation, we build each product more efficiently and more sustainably than the last. Solar energy generation and large-scale battery storage are increasing the availability and reliability of clean electricity in our communities and are doing so more affordably and more sustainably. By the way, if you guys haven't figured it out right now, Tesla is essentially going after literally everything. Like everything that matters in the future, all of it. Fingers in all the pies, Tesla. In fact, baking all the pies. Autonomous vehicles have the capacity to dramatically improve the affordability, availability, and safety of transportation while reducing pollution, particularly in our increasingly dense global cities. Optimus, our autonomous humanoid robot, is changing not only the perception of labor itself, but its availability and capability. Jobs and tasks that are particularly monotonous or dangerous can now be accomplished by other means. In this way, Optimus's mission is to give people back more time to do what they love, or who they love. What? Autonomy must benefit all of humanity. The tools we make at Tesla help us build the products that advance human prosperity. How we develop and use autonomy and the new capabilities it makes available to us should be informed by its ability to enhance the human condition, making daily life better and safer for all people through our autonomous technology has always been and continues to be our focus. Greater access drives greater growth. Making technologically advanced products that are affordable and available at scale is required to build a flourishing and unconstrained society. 
It serves to further democratise society while raising everyone's quality of life in the process. The hallmark of meritocracy... Oh, hey, trigger alert. The DI tards have left the chat. The hallmark of meritocracy is creating opportunities that enable each person to use their skills to accomplish whatever they imagine. Everyone deserves access to these opportunities and technological growth can help ensure that each of us is able to maximise our most limited resource, time. God damn, dude, they're singing my song. If you haven't figured it out, by the way, I've said this many times in the past, you can get more money, you cannot get more time. You should be very generous with your money and extremely, viciously, ferociously guard your most valuable resource, time. We're accelerating the world's transition to sustainable abundance. There it is again. Now, again, just think, by the way, Tesla, they put out these goals 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and we'll do this. Here's the things. Next minute they do this. It takes about 10 years, but whatever they do, what they said they're going to do. Just again, they're now telling us what they're going to do. And the scale of this is orders of magnitude bigger than anything Tesla's previously said, we'll do this and then done. Do you understand? We must make one thing clear. This challenge will be extremely difficult to overcome. The elimination of scarcity will require tireless and exquisite execution. Some will perceive it as impossible, and plenty of others, the Reddit mods, will lord every obstacle and setback we inevitably encounter along the way. But once we overcome this challenge, our critics will come to see that what they once thought was impossible is indeed possible. And that will be fine with us, because what matters most is that together, we create a sustainable and truly abundant future for generations to come. All worthwhile journeys are long, and they all begin with the first step. Our first step was to make an exciting sports car, Roadster. By the way, this was laid out in their first master plan. We'll do this and blah, blah, blah. So they're basically going through their master plans historically. Then we leveraged those profits to fund the development and production of more affordable yet still exciting products, Model S and Model X. Then we repeated the process, bringing us to Model 3 and Model Y and onward. This process required us to take many steps, some of them small and others large, but ultimately each win led to another win. And even with our failures, we were able to keep building momentum. Our momentum allowed us to build out a fully integrated ecosystem of sustainable products from transport to energy generation, battery storage and robotics. Today, we are on the cusp of a revolutionary period primed for unprecedented growth. Were you Tesla investors listening? Because they're right. And this time, it will not be a single step, but a leap forward for Tesla and humanity as a whole. The tools we are going to develop will help us build the kind of world that we've always dreamed of. A world of sustainable abundance. There it is again. By the way, this is essentially the Star Trek future. By redefining the fundamental building blocks of labor, mobility, and energy at scale. And for all. Now, obviously, everyone who watches this channel regularly knew this years ago. I've been saying it for literally years. But for those who don't, now you know. Straight from the horse's mouth. Sustainable abundance for all. Now, I'm done gloating. I do this, by the way, just to really troll my haters who, for some reason, continue to watch every single video and then tell me how much I suck and how much they hate me. <laughs> They're just confused admirers. Just wanted to share this. Whole Mars asks, what are the steps to achieve Master Plan Part 4? Scale FSD and Optimus, I guess, right? Elon Musk confirms those are the biggest factors and says that around 80% of Tesla's value will be Optimus. And obviously, he's not talking about Tesla's current valuation, which includes approximately nothing at all for Optimus, but a future valuation which Tesla's value as a company has already skyrocketed on the back of autonomy, which can't possibly be more than 20%, which would exclude Tesla's energy generation and the vehicle business. In other words, if Tesla once again succeeds in doing what they said they're going to do in Master Plan 1 and 2 and on the way for 3, in Master Plan 4, Tesla's entire valuation today actually may, over multiple decades, end up looking like a rounding error. So don't say I didn't warn you. Want more content? Early access? bunch of perks click the links in the pinned comment ag1 is awesome i've been taking it daily now for more than three years it's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps it's packed full of vitamins minerals and whole food source nutrients plus has prebiotics probiotics and adaptogens to improve gut health regularity and help your body handle stress i'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best which is why i haven't missed a day of ag1 for more than three years just try it and see how you feel Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.